Welcome back. What's that? Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> For yourself, brother. This poem is for the drug addicts, the dope fiends. This poem is for 90-pound bodies shriveling in gutters like dried fruit. This is for those who shoot. For the withering alley cat specters dancing sleepwalk in the devil's daymare, slaves to the needle and the spoon. This poem is for my siblings who met their makers too soon. This poem is for you. You who is blacklisted for your sickness, convicted, untouchable, and criminally ill. You who is locked up for possession without a hope of redemption for your child who is missing you. Who doesn't understand the reasons the drug war nabbed his daddy, and who will follow in his bootsteps if not properly guided. This poem is for you who grow comfortable but were missing something, who graduated from the school bus to the squad car, the pen to the magnum, you who found your feet, your fountain in the hate Nashbury, no hurry, why worry? Life is a joy ride in a stranger's car, and smack is the main line out of the middle class and into an early grave. This is for the track marks we paid. This poem is for you who is on the wait list for an underfunded treatment center for three months, deciding between triage through treatment or deliverance through death. Anything to stop the suffering. This poem is reality. I know this poem. This poem is for me. Me who used to strip mine straight pieces of pill out of the car for snorting whatever came along with the catch. Me who found bliss in every brand new orange bottle. Me who from the birds chirping in the morning produced paranoia. Me who stayed up for five days awake for gunshots and lived in psychotic delusions. Me who got clean. Me who no longer lives between high-speed chases and post-mania comas under the covers, this poem is for worried mothers. This poem is for hope. It is for one day, just this day, clean and serene, finally again a human being. It is for not being an animal, a slave to my desires, impulse toward deathly indulgence. It is for skin, clear of scabs, face full of color and complexion. It is for a job, an education, poetry slams and getting published. It is for friends and family proud to call me theirs. This poem is for hope. <coughs> This poem is also for the fallen, for the soldiers digging their trenches in Southeast D.C. and Baltimore. This poem is not for the war on drugs, the war on the poor, the war on the spirit. This poem is an epidemic. This poem is for my dead kin who struggle no more. For those who gave up on life and greeted the reaper in the backseat of a beat-up caddy with not an ounce of body fat, sunken cheeks, emaciated skeletons. The ones we loved, dead at 23. This poem is an epitaph. This poem is statistics. This poem rolls dice. This poem is proof that the dealer didn't win. This poem is for every addict who never met the pen. It is for last gasps beneath bridges for funerals we didn't have the courage to attend. This poem is for resistance, resilience, and blind fucking luck. This is a poem against all odds. This poem should be six feet under, but it defies gravity. I defy gravity. I defy death. This is the only poem I've ever written as a distraction from writing another poem. And it was actually a distraction from writing the first poem that you heard. So it's a little bit about my writing process. <laughs> when I'm at my best in my poetry writing process, it is a full body brain workout. And I look utterly insane. Watch me running laps from corner to corner in my living room in the woods like this. This is how this poem got written. Pacing between a campfire and an empty creek exactly 233 feet away, and I know this because I just paced it out in between writing exactly and 233 feet away. <laughs> you see, in some circles, like the psychiatric ones, this behavior would get me labeled obsessive compulsive or ADD, but in poetry, we like to call these things meticulous research <laughs> and spontaneous creativity. Yeah. And when I get sad, my word rivers reduce to trickles that drip Drip, drip, only occasionally. And it makes for slow writing. <laughs> Until I get started, and then it picks up, and I am awesome, and I'm the best poet in the history of ever, and I'm going to write 20 books, and I'm going to win awards from every president ever, and you will love me, and you will love me, and even you will love me, and you will give me all your money, and I will spend it immediately. <laughs> and it goes until I get sad again, and I get depressed, and I remember that I'm bipolar, though I will insist that I'm fucking multipolar, because I'm in a pole you've never even dreamed of. <laughs> and most places, 
This would make me really batshit crazy, but here it makes me a performer! That's the secret to avoiding straitjackets. <laughs> if you articulate your crazy well enough, <laughs> they'll think you're an artist. <laughs> Thank you very much.